<laughs> Shit, age out, y'all. What the fuck? Motherfucker was like, world stop. When the last time you been on world stop? What the fuck? I don't even know how to get on world stop. Like, is that still, it's an app. Is that still, like, you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Like, calm down. Boot gang. Boot gang. Take a nigga shit and run off. Now he John Gabbana. A, da a pastor, John Gabbana. Boot gang. The nigga who had 70 wars all over the news, tattoos all over his face, running, jump, do all this devilish shit. Five years, six, seven years later, he's jumped past the John Gabbana. Fuck. <laughs> hell. I need a bird. I need a bird. All the bitches are birds. He couldn't fly motherfucking... Spirit airline right now. He couldn't catch a penguin right now. He couldn't catch a flamingo. It ain't a bird that's chirping them. I'm going to give you an idea, though. Just imagine this. Just imagination. Everybody going ahead. We're going to play a game. Everything I say, y'all, just do. Y'all just bed TV. We ain't on that. <laughs> Everything I say, just imagine. Hey, everybody close their eyes. Nobody can see y'all. Y'all cool. Y'all in y'all house. Y'all don't have no pride. We playing the game. Everybody close their eyes. Boom. Your eyes closed. Just imagine you at 15 years old. Just say you 15. Go-go music. You in the go-go. You having a blast. This, that, and the third. Ooh. Life. That's the life you live. Boom. You 15 years old. You going to the... You fucking with the bitches, you going to movies, you doing all that shit. You catching a train, you just doing everything a kid do. You hanging out in gallery, you doing all that. Now fast forward to you 30 years old. Your eyes still closed, keep your eyes closed. Now you're 30 years old, boom. Is you still going to the movies down Union? Is you still catching the motherfucking train? Is the go-go still lit? All that shit ages out. So now all the bad you did, like... I just say all the bad you did in that stage of time and like, what the fuck, you just going to clean it up in the next life? That ain't the way life works. So make some hit you. Just say like, yeah, you might want to be this, that, and the third 15 years ago. You might have liked Chief Keep. Don't like. That song like that. But like, we don't really own Chief Keep like we was a long time ago. You feel what I'm saying? Times change, man. Times change. And I'm just saying like, if you do so much devilish shit, you cannot change with time, bro. There's no way you fucked up 80 families, 90 families, and you think you can just go change. Like, make it make sense. Times change, bro. Back in the day, when I was eight years old, I used to say, I never eat pussy. Pussy nasty as shit. When I grow up, I never eat no pussy. I ain't eat no pussy. Now when I'm 30 years old, you can slap a pussy across my sideburns. I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> Pussyologist. The fuck? When we all was kids. We used to be like, well, I ain't eat no pussy. Oh, girls like, I ain't sucking no dick. I ain't doing that. I don't fuck dick. She's a bitch want a dick slap across her face on a Wednesday for nothing. Fuck. Times change. <laughs> <laughs> the hell this shit is all like it just shit play out like I used to say mom broccoli hey no I looked over here y'all know I used to be mad as shit and my mother gave me my rice say we had my rice chicken and macaroni if my rice was touching my macaroni or my chicken I was real loud mad as shit as a kid I swear to god like temper tantrum around punch a hole in the wall on with the food I won't even eat today cuz my rice was touching my chicken and my macaroni I want my food touching fast forward to 30 years later I will put the macaroni in the motherfucking yams put the chicken in there I put it in one bowl shake it up and eat that shit that shit all go the same place that shit all tastes the same like <laughs> I used to cry my mother used to stir my cereal she pulled the milk in there stir it no mommy what my cereal stirred I don't want that damn cereal she stirred this bro she stirred the cereal all she did was stir the cereal bro like <laughs> it took me 20 years later to know she did that but stir the cereal bro that shit got milk on it anyway like milk it ain't nothing but milk a spoon and some cereal and all she did was have milk, some spoon, and cereal. So, like, what the fuck did she do to it? Whatever she did, it still was milk, spoon, and cereal. You feel me? Like, shit changed. <laughs> this shit is crazy, bro. I'm telling you. Shit changes out here. 
Time change. And I'm gonna give you another scenario. Like your grandmother, your grandmother be like, you doing this, you doing that, you need to be in the house. Just say if you live with a grandmother, like a strict grandmother from like the 50s or something, you need to be in the house at this time, this, that, or third. I be having to tell them like, I don't mean no harm, grandma. I love the shit out of you. I love my grandma more than anything in the world. I swear to God, grandma should live forever. But grandma, I'm here to tell you, all that you went to the penny store and shit, ain't no stores out here penny. These stores don't even take pennies. Shit is different. All that you had a you had a cup, grandma, a cup with a string on it. You threw it to your neighbor across the fence and shit. I got a cell phone. Like, this motherfucker got Wi-Fi. This young got FaceTime. Like, I can see people. Like, you don't need to know what's going on out here in the world. Like, you used to real life go in the bank with big ass coins and shit, dump them in there, get it turned into money. Do you not know I can cash a check from my phone? Like, times have changed. Ain't nobody on that no more, grandma. I love the shit out of you. Like, yeah, I love you. Like, you can go to church every Sunday, grandma. That's you. I can go to Kirk Franklin Instagram every day. I know he got a scripture up there and a couple motivational journals. I can go to him and Dr. Umar and, you know what I'm saying, Kid, I, I can be at church all week, grandma. You should be proud of me. Instagram is church. I know it's a pastor. I ain't got, I didn't seen 300 godly posts today, like motivational posts. Like, I can get church right here, grandma. I do not got to go every Sunday. I do not got to put no suit on. And the crazy part about it is, I don't got to pay no tithes. Grandma, you going to church, giving them 10% of that shit. You can watch that shit virtual and keep your 10%. Twenty twenty two times have changed. I love you, Grandma. Yeah, I love you. I do love you. I done seen seventeen past the pump. I love you, Grandma. I do love you, but times have changed. This how bad times have changed, Grandma. I'm here to tell you. Yeah, you might think I'm living a bad life. You might think I'm doing all this. Yeah, I might be wild. But I'm here to tell you, Grandma, the pastor got an Instagram. I'm sorry, Grandma. I don't want to do this to you, but the pastor got an Instagram. And the way Instagram's set up, if you think the pastor just can take his eyeballs off that Explore page and them brown-ass, perfect-ass BBLs with them big-ass, cute-ass titties, all them beautiful, God know he lying. It's the devil all over that. The pastor got an Instagram. I don't give a fuck if he don't want to see the explore page. He going to see that motherfucker, so he going to just look at some ass and just close his eyes. God, Come on, bro. God looking at that ass. Like, God is on the explore page. Like, them bitches came from God. The fuck? The fuck are you talking about? The, the pastor going to make that shit right. I swear. Them bitches be so bad on the explore page, he probably think them bitches came from God. Because, like, only God could have made you this perfect. The fuck is you talking about? Grandma, the pastor got an Instagram. Your ass is missing it. I got this church. You know? I don't know what you talking about. I love you, though, Grandma. I love you. I really love you, Grandma. Okay. Times has changed, Grandma. Nah, for real. I be trying to pull Grandma up. She think I be bullshit. <laughs> They say get her pregnant. Get who pregnant? I ain't getting nobody pregnant. I'm not. First of all, if you out here thinking about getting a girl pregnant and you ain't got six digits in cash or more or she ain't got it and y'all ain't got it, like, how y'all gonna take care of baby? You trying to take care of baby, bro? You got two thousand dollars, bro. That bitch, that bitch got a thousand. You got two thousand. Y'all got three thousand together. Y'all trying to bring a baby in this world, bro? You should not even be fucking. Go clip your balls. Real life, clip your balls. They say, "Fuck you hitting the boots. Why you hiding it?" I told you. It's the difference between me and Glizzy. If I'm smoking a J. It cannot be monetized. <laughs> I get paid for all this shit. All this shit is paid. All this shit is paid. Everything I do is monetized. Real, whatever. All this shit is monetized. 
I can't go on YouTube with a J in my mouth. Like, you don't get paid for YouTube with a J in your mouth. That's what get, not get you paid. What's well, this shit going on YouTube? If I'm smoking a J, you ain't getting no money. You don't understand that. Just stay in your lane. Like, just be regular. Go to work. Mind your business. Come on, this, that, and third. Do you not notice? I've been on live 700 billion times. I smoked 700 billion J's. I've been smoking every live. I never, like, name a live I wasn't smoking the whole live. Like, what, I took three minutes off? I've been smoking for two years straight in front of you. You don't even know, like, every live, all live. Like, it's never been live I wasn't smoking. Leave me alone. You can't fucking monetize these. Though. So just stay at your job. Fuck do I gotta smoke roaches for? What fuck do I gotta smoke little jays? Smoke what I wanna smoke. Smoke what I wanna smoke. They say why you mad? I'm mad. Damn. I told you. I can't argue with the comments. I ain't doing that. Oh, you right. Fuck up. You're mad. Fuck that get mad. Fuck was the mad thing about? You think that's mad? Guess why I'd be mad? I'd be mad if I woke up you. If I woke up in America and I couldn't, if I had no money, I'd be mad. I'd really be mad. I'd do it. When I woke up broke, I'd be mad as shit. I don't know when to go outside. I don't got nowhere to go. It don't be nothing. The days just be boring and shit. I just want to start shit. I know. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things are going to get brighter. Let's sing. You want to sing? I'm going to sing some money into your life. I'm going to sing some money into all our life. Hold on. I'm going to get us all back. I'm gonna waste some money on all us, cause y'all hate it. Ooh, child, things are gonna get eaten. We about to remix that joke, y'all ready? Y'all ready? We about to remix that joke. Everybody close their eyes. We're in the choir. Get your, I'm about to remix you, right? Get your bread up. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things are gonna get brighter. Get your bread up. Ooh, child. Things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things are gonna get brighter. Now the choir director I am. Get your bread up, ooh child. Things are gonna get easier. Ooh child, you got money. You pay the pepco to blight so won't get brighter.